Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Terraformers, The Blue Path, which originally streamed live on Twitch, May 3rd. So in order to do The Blue Path, I am initially going to do the lower difficulty just so that I don't fail. And in order to achieve this, I must raise all four terraforming parameters to level two. Uh, as the difficult go difficulty goes up, the expectations go up, which means that it's harder to keep people satisfied. And then if you go really, really, really high, you need to fully terraform it up to level three. But I'm not that good. So <laughs> we're going to start slow and ramp it up. So choice. Uh, so when you start a new game, you can have different choices about what kind of start you want. And there is the balance choice, which is what we started with uh, in the tutorial. There is the terraforming choice, which might not be a bad choice for the blue path. Because it gives you uh, some extra stuff. And I'll, I'll actually read this off before you actually make your vote. So the balanced is you get a habitation module and a farm, and you can quickly grow your population to two. For terraforming, you gain a CO2 factory and an oxygen factory so that you can start producing oxygen, heat, and atmosphere pretty early on. And then a special project to import oceans from Enceladus to get your oceans up to two-thirds of what you need for level one. For scientific, you're given a university, which gives adjacency for science. You're given a lab, a research center, and eco-homes, which... Um, yeah, which is a special type of home that is not that much different, but it requires food and science rather than just plain old food. So a slightly different requirement there. And it looks like terraforming is the runaway winner, but I'm just going to leave you another minute or two to decide. And Icefire, thank you for the resub as well. Welcome. So we're doing the terraforming start, huh, guys? Vote canceled. I'll just call it now. New Kuwait. <laughs> well, I hope Saddam doesn't come for my terraforming gold. Uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of a giveaway for, uh, for what New Kuwait will be renamed to. So, raffle time is up. Uh, pick a leader. Security, which gives us overwork in police stations. Probably not that useful early on. Or artificial intelligence for... Yeah, I'll go artificial intelligence. I'll go with the goo stuff. Alright, my first move. Place the headquarters. There we go. And habitation module. There we are. Oxygen factory. Right... So if I have a home here, oh, people don't mind living next to the oxygen factories, but I'm gonna put the oxygen factory here. So we can have home, 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 something nice, something nice, something nice, and then the rest can be production. So if I want to start importing oceans from Enceladus, I need tritium. So let's explore the tritium direction which is indeed a tritium deposit, so I'm going to settle it and mine it. Solid first turn. I hope this is a titanium mine. That would be wonderful. Also, it looks like the, um, the equator is north of me, so I'm going to want to start to explore towards equator because it's going to be a little bit easier to keep that up. All right. So the goal here is to get heat, oxygen, ocean, and atmosphere up to level two. That's it. No score, nothing else matters. I just can't lose support. That's the, I guess that's the only thing that matters. All right, I do think that um, as much as I want power, farming is gonna be really important early on because I won't be able to expand to new cities without farming. And it was a titanium deposit, that's awesome. So that gives us the ability to get a CO2 factory CO2 factories have an adjacency for population that is negative, whereas the oxygen factories do not. And soon I'm going to be given the um, automatic uh, trade to be able to export my tritium 
to import oceans from Enceladus. I don't have the trait yet, if you're wondering. Uh, Orpheus Telos, thank you for the follow. And JD Kings, thank you for the resub. And cheers again. All right, I'm going to go with the Tritium Generator. As you saw from the tutorial that I ran through, how, not having enough power kind of sucked. And we'll nest that back here so it doesn't uh, doesn't piss off the population. And let's explore... So we need soil for the tuber farm, so let's explore this soil. Which gave us food too. Awesome. And I just got my trade route, so I'll be using that in a minute. And maybe a laboratory. Explore here. Which is a high plateau, which is good to know. And I'm going to start sending the tritium out to to get uh, the oceans from Enceladus. That will give us at least two-thirds of what we need for level one. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to endorse... Actually, I'm going to have you choose. So you guys can choose between these... Whoa. Did I click something? Next time you can choose. I guess I clicked something. I don't recall clicking anything, but all right. I tabbed back in and it made a choice for me. What did I... Ch I don't even see that I chose something, though. Oh, pending... No, no, no. The pending revolt... Uh, the pending choice is still here. Okay. So I can either, one, go with nitrates, two, go with silicates, or three, go with tritium. And for research project, I'll go with uh, windmills. As power is always kind of an issue. Early game. And that's the raffle timer for the city. So city is the back road runner. Great name for a city, by the way. I should start to grab silicates because I would like to get the laboratory early so we can start building up science. So I'll be hitting up the silicate nodes here. And it looks like you guys want me to get the night traits, which gives me the tuber farm. Cool. So I'm now have an income of food. And here's the exploration satellite. And then next up, we'll go with the greenhouse farm. I would like to invest in farming as early as I can. So, is this water? No. And then, uh, this is probably a well here, but I'm going to go with these silicates instead. So that I can unlock laboratory maybe next turn. Expectations have gone up. I'm now in the negative five. All right, so here's a lava tube, which could be a spot for the next colony. And I'm going to put my... Hmm. I'm actually going to relocate my power generator, I think. No, I'm not. I take that back. But I am going to stick the laboratory... here. Robot hub. That'll be useful. Robot hub will allow me to expand a bit. Put that... Uh, there. And go up to the titanium deposit. 
and then down to the high peak. So the goal is to get this titanium mine, which I'm going to stop importing water and start uh, start importing titanium so I can get the mine so that I'm more self-reliant. Oh, no, I have enough for the mine now. Scratch that. Keep importing the water. So here's a crater location, which is also colonizable. Uh, my two cents, it's a bit too close to Backroad Runner, so it's probably non-viable. You can also relocate your cities. But uh, I almost, I've like never done that because I never see that it's necessary to relocate. It's a lot of effort. Entertainment center, perfect. So that's going to help with support because I was negative support. So now we're from negative five to plus one. And satellites. And we are looking at trying to get water. So I'll hit this node here, bringing me up to 10. This is indeed an aquifer. And that gives me the ability to put down a greenhouse farm. So now we have two plant generators. And then explore with the remaining power and we'll go with um, here. I want to try to uh, found a city somewhere around uh, Samaria Occidental. Okay, uh, another choice for you all. Give you just uh, 60 seconds. So number one is titanium, number two is water, and number three is power. What do you think we need? Titanium, water, or power? Research projects. Ooh, man, I don't know what I want. I'm going to go with... Hmm. Rover exploration, I guess. And here is a lava tube. So that is... Uh, a place where we can found a city. It also has some anomalies. So this anomaly produces more science if we build there. This anomaly or fertile soil produces more food. And this one is nice to look at. Ad adjacent support if you put population here. So uh, this lava tube would be good to settle into. So for us to settle in the lava tube, we need to explore the three adjacent locations first. And then get uh, 30 food and 5 water. Which is the new goal. All right, looks like you guys wanted the power. Got it. And Gustav is retiring. So what leader to go with? I'm going to have you choose. So leader number one is construction. His abilities is to destroy rocks and build modular apartments without the use of, um, of titanium. And constructing regional buildings costs... Uh, 15% less resources or uh, Lena so she can spend water to gain support she can construct a local art gallery for free which is plus three support for every location providing support or comfort owned by the city and her specialization is happiness leads to creativity if I have 800 or more uh, total support gain plus one to the project and plus one to the research which is not likely to happen because my support's not that high. It looks to me like you guys are going with, um... Constructor Boy. Guy. Whatever his name is. All right, I'm going to go with the Tuber Farm so we can finish the farming projects that we had set up. And then... It is down to just searching, uh... around the lava tube. Which is very power-intensive because it's pretty far away from our home our initial home. At the end of this turn, I will have imported all the oceans from Enceladus project. There it is. And yeah, let's get a landing pad. That would be helpful. There we go. Instantly 20 out of 30 sea level for sea level one. Putting another power generator in the first starter city. And I'll probably put the landing pad here. So with that landing pad, uh, we should start importing soil. And we'll export titanium and tritium? 
so that I can build the tuber farm. Uh, then the satellite exploration searches the last location around the lava tube. And I can find my city. So that is a another raffle timer. So good luck to whoever wants to become a city on Mars. So where's the best place for this? Um, if I want to take advantage of this science anomaly, this cross here would not be a good place for my colonies. If I want to take advantage of the natural site, which only provides a little bit of support, so it's not that big of a deal, I'll probably put farms here because of the fertile soil. So I'll have fertile soil and then like something that benefits farms and then another farm. So in terms of population, I think what I'll do is I'll place the headquarters um, here to initially gain the natural site benefit and then to eventually maybe phase it out. So good luck in the raffle and uh, we'll have new Apia renamed soon. Go with Oxygen Factory. All right, I'm going to be using the Earthworks to clear out a lot of the lava tube debris. One of the benefits of this lava tube is it provides a ton of uh, radiation protection, which helps with the comfort, which helps with the support. So that's that's handy. Okay, uh, another viewer choice here. So we have a choice between two bacterium. Option number one is producing heat with a minimum requirement of minus one temp. Option number two is produces atmosphere with the minimum requirement of minus two temp. So much the way that uh, it was the same choice that we had early on between temperature and atmosphere. What do I want here? A university could provide a, an adjacency benefit to this anomaly. So I could put the university here, which could be uh, pump this anomaly up to to like plus three or something like that, which could be pretty good. Let's use the earthworks again. Clear out two more rocks for free. And it looks like you guys want the methanogenium. So I'm going to go with that small margin, but that looked like it won. Orion Zero, thank you for the resub. All 16 months. Cheers, dude. Hmm. The exhaust processor might not be terrible. So it's, um... It's plus one silicate for every three mines owned by the city. This city doesn't own three mines, though. It only owns two. So I might throw that out once it fills up. We'll see. We have uh, the exploration satellites, which I will hit here for nitrates, which gives me the tuber farm. So now we have three farms waiting for the bonus soil. And then we have two other slots over here uh, waiting for one habitat and then something else. It doesn't really matter what that last is, just whatever is most ideal. Going with the earthworks again. And clear, clear. He was a good choice uh, to be to be able to earth clear around the new lava tube. So expectations go up. I'm back in the negative. And here's the soil factory that we wanted in order to boost our food production considerably. I'm going to throw that out. A laboratory, perfect. So the laboratory is gonna go here. And that now produces two science per turn because of the uh, anomaly underneath it. And then at some point I can put a university either here or here in order to boost that laboratory even further. All right, so now we're rock free, totally cleared up there and I need to start worrying about my support because it's dwindling. 
Oh, here we go. Giant space mirrors. So increases the heat of a climate zone by one. Uh, so if I export enough silicates, that could be pretty useful. I think I'm actually going to go with the habitation module to increase the population of either back road or new apia. And that is the giveaway timer. So good luck to Decker. All right. Now, I do have a bacteria spreader, which would be good to place down. So if I wanted to get that bacteria spreader out, I need to expand. Uh, I need to expand one of my cities so that I have a free slot to place it. So I'm going to start to buy or import food so I can build this habitation module sooner uh, to be able to get the required food. And then I'll explore here. Because it gave me food. I was right. My inclination was correct. So let's place the habitat module here. This expands out once. That adds the bacteria spreader. And that gives us the ability to place the magnagno, whatever it is, for the additional heat per turn. So now I'm producing two heat, one ox, and two atmo per turn. Oh, and then I can do the traditional exploration. Let's go... here titanium and tritium because i'm trying to uh i'm trying to earn up to the rover if i can all right so let's cancel that i no longer need to import food i will import soils again trying to get the soil factory and then i won't have to worry about food as much marsnet provides one comfort of living globally it's nice it's not needed for terraforming though So I will just ditch all these projects for more science. And then right now we're bottlenecked on tritium. So let's search out some tritium. So there's a tritium mine that I could exploit resources there. So let's go this way. Ah, flat plains for another city. Robot hub, definitely robot hub. So I'm gonna robot hub here in order to significantly expand Decker. So if it's, uh, let's see, if it's farm something farm, robot hub can go there. That robot hub will give us the aquifer, which I can either extract water for the oceans, which would raise our water sea level up to one, which I'll do. And now, as you can see, certain map tiles have flooded. And that will free up my ability to put a windmill down. And then this one will go towards the silicates. It's a large deposit, so I can pit mine it for two per turn if I got a little bit more uh, titanium. So I'm going to stop selling my titanium per turn and sell my science per turn for the soils. And then we'll explore for titanium, because that's what I'm now bottlenecked on. So here we go. That was a big move. Oh, new leader. So you guys get to choose. Your choice is between recycling, so she can build a sewage treatment plant, which uh, gives one water per turn when the city has at least four pop, which I don't have any cities that have four pop. And she could convert uh, three silicates into 10 titanium, which is pretty powerful. And then removing a rock provides titanium. Unfortunately, all my rocks have been removed. Or, uh, Aishi, I'll call her. She can import life forms from Earth up to five times. And then she can genetically modify them so that um, they have a reduced heat requirement. So I'll give you just a minute on that. And her specialization is constructing animal spreaders cost less water. Normally it costs like 25, so it reduces that cost considerably. What you want? Looks like Aishi is going to be the winner here. I'm just going to 
Give you one more minute, or a few more seconds. But I gotta say, Dramadeo, you did really good for us. Alright, new projects. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the hydroponic farm. So, here's what import life looks like. When you import life, you get to pick between, so... Because I'm gonna be doing this a lot, I'm not gonna have you choose. Oh, yes, Yoda is missing. Uh... But, you know, sorry, Daydora. Uh, so, picking between these two, I actually don't even really care. Because I'm probably not going to be using either of them, because they don't, um... Neither of these... Terraform? There you go, now he's back. And let's... Explore for a new colony. It would be good to get another colony out. So what I'm really bottlenecked on is is titanium and I haven't made any effort to get titanium but um it'd be good to get that uh, pit mine up ASAP now my support is currently dwindling so I'm gonna get the space hotel because I don't want my support to start dwindling now it's way too early for it to go to zero and if I wanted titanium, where would I go? I would explore here. Alright, so I have seven out of the eight that are required for the pit mine. I'll get the eighth next turn. And we're still importing soils so I can uh, double my food production, which I think is probably the best choice. So, um... Atmosphere and oxygen per turn at a minimum requirement of zero temperature, or an alpine forest. I'm going to go with the alpine forest. I'm just going to choose on this one. It's the first plant spreader that I've been offered, and I can make good use of it. And I'm going to get a research center. So over at Decker here, I'm going to stick the research center down. I'm going to stick that uh, here. And that's going to allow me to have two extra projects proposed each turn to give me more options. I do have the titanium for the silicate mine. There we go. Now that I'm producing a lot of silicates, I can actually choose to sell those silicates instead of my other materials uh, to gain more soil. And we're still pushing for that soil factory. And they'll support new life. And I'm going to go with temperate forest. Or, yeah, temperate forest, because there's more prestige. Hey, buddy. Oh, a Marsquake. Took out a whole lot of my stuff. That's not cool. So let's take a look at back Red Runner. Damaged my Ox Factory and damaged my Generator and the Tuber Farm. So all of that Nitrates that I've been building up just went poof. Thanks, Marsquake. You the best. So I'll use my Satellites to try to get more Nitrates, which would be year. I'm just going to traditionally explore there, because it's cheap. So that's four. It's also rich soil for our nitrates mine. That's good to know, if there's a, a colony that I could start over there. And then these satellites will go this way. Because I'm looking to colonize over this way, too. And here, I have a big choice of research projects. And I'm going to go with I'm going to see if Think Tank makes sense. So if I had the Academy here and a Think Tank there, that would work out. So yeah, I'll do Think Tank. Is it Mars seismically dead? I actually don't think it is. None. Uh, maybe the Development Center. The Development Center... And the research center going hand in hand are really nice. You can pick one extra project per turn and then you get offered two extra projects per turn. So there's uh, a good synergy there. But my, my queue here is starting to fill up a bit much. 
So let's see if I can't get enough uh, nitrates to be able to build the soil now. Because that would be... Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let's get over there and toss that soil factory down. Doubling the amount of food that I produce. I have one more slot for something. Maybe a development center or... I don't know, whatever. But that's going to be real nice. So I'm going to stop importing the nitrates and start exporting for the space hotel because I'm still in the support negative. And if you, you know, if I don't start addressing that negative support, I'll lose. I don't want to lose. Ooh. I'm going to make the alpine... So I just genetically modified the alpine forest that I have to... Instead of requiring temperature 1, it requires temperature 0, which will be a little bit easier for me to seed. I'd like to get a plant seeder out, but I definitely don't have the nitrates. So I'm going to see if I can't mine the nitrates over here by exploring in this area. So I think that's my, my top priority. And now my support is even going further down. So as you can see, I'm negative 57, which is really not good. It's a lot of lost support. I think a bus station is going to be pretty useful for Decker. Because maybe I can actually get out to the rich soil with the bus station. So that's my current goal. Is get that bus station built. So I'm going to sell two science to import two titanium. And that will give me also that titanium deposit on the way. Um, the development center that I wanted to build, I guess I'll put it here. Oh, and releasing an underground frozen oxygen vent, which means my atmosphere and my oxygen level leveled up. So I just gained a whole lot of support for that. So we now have one across the board, one, 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 one. So I'm about halfway to my goal. I'm going to import more life forms, so... Tundra forest, I guess. And... Oh, another project, right. None of them. Give me the science. I'm going to go with a yet another space hotel and the tritium thermo generator. So, in Decker here, it's going to be farm something farm. So, I could put the generator here, adding a little bit to my power grid. And I'm still waiting on titanium, so let's see if I can't get enough titanium to build that now. Oh, now I need the tritium. Oh, Lord. I was not paying attention. Miner's Cottage works. And... Maybe another exploration satellite wouldn't be terrible. So now, let's try to get the tritium. Because I wasn't paying attention. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to unlock the bus station to be able to get out to the nitrates. So that I can start generating a lot more resources automatically. So in terms of a tritium node, here will work. I also have the Miner's Cottage, so Decker, let's build that and put that in this spot. That expands Decker out one towards the nitrates, and then the bus station will do the rest. So we'll stick the bus station here, two and three. And then I can get the nitrates mined soon. So, for that, I need three more titanium. I'll import some. I also have enough for university, so I will get the adjacency here for the laboratory. And then what I want to do is eventually put the think tank here as well, so that I get the uh, university adjacency as well. Moto, what is the end game to make a livable planet? So it depends on the challenge that you have. Currently, I'm on the blue path, which is to terraform Mars up to two for temperature, oxygen, ocean, and atmosphere. And, uh... Mass Murder, thank you for the resub. 
Do I have to worry about that name of yours? <laughs> All right, let's put some more bacteria down, and I'm going to put it where Decker's located, so that Decker benefits. So now my heat is up to three a turn. Oxygen up to one, and atmosphere up to two. I need to start worrying more about terraforming, because I'm falling behind on my quota. Oh, Entertainment Center will help a lot with the support. And... Nothing else really calls to me. Put the entertainment center here. That should help a little bit of support. Right now I'm at negative 48, which is really, really terrible. So now we're up to negative 42. So marginal gains. Not that much. Um, I'm also going to put the cultured meat lab here. And then save up for the hydroponic farm here. And I should be making a lot of food at that point. Over here, there's the nitrates mine, and one more titanium, and I'll have enough for the titanium mine. So let's start working on that support, because my support is honestly terrible. So I'm going to import one titanium at the cost of food, and then I'm going to start exporting to get the... I didn't mean to click that. Uh, I'm going to start exporting to get the space projects done. And importing... Penguins. New leader. All right, you guys are going to choose for me. So the choice is robotics. Mariam. So she can gain more research projects and gain science or construct a drone hub for free with a specialization of uh, boosting power. Or Svetlana, who can overwork the city at loss of support and build habitation modules and skyscraper projects and uh, gain plus one support uh, per turn for every 13th, 14th, and 15th new building you construct in each city. Basically, as I fill up a city, I gain additional support. So, of those two leaders, who sounds best? Certainly did not use her specialization here. Leaders that specialize in animals or plants are generally not that useful really early on because you just don't have the terraforming done to be able to uh, capitalize on their specialties. So it's it's best to have constructors and miners early on and then terraformers and planters and farmers later on. As like a general high-level strategy. And it looks like we're going with leader number one, robotics. I definitely want to import oceans from Europa. That's a lot of water, and that's going to help with the ocean projects. That's actually 50 out of the 60 I need to complete the water for the goal. And then I'm also going to go with uh, Robot Hub. So let's change what project we're working on. I'm going to start uh, importing the oceans. And then... I want to expand Decker to include this tritium deposit, which means getting a robot hub to expand out to the tritium deposit or a think tank condominium. And I think realistically the think tank condominium might be a little cheaper. But I'd also really like to get the, uh, yeah. So I'm going to push to the think tank. Um, okay. Mining industry. Give me more water. Perfect. Throw all those projects up. Don't need them. So let's explore for water. Where's there a good amount of water? A little bit of water there. Oh man, where is the water? We'll go here. Two water, that's enough. 
So here's the think tank. That allows us to expand to... Oh, that's even a better option. So I'm gonna expand to this aquifer and extract the water from that aquifer to put onto Mars. So now once I complete the import oceans from Europa, I'm completely done with the water level. And then I just need to do heat, oxygen, and ammo. So the robot hub allows me to get the tritium mine. And I need the titanium to exploit that. And then I'm also going to get the flat planes here. Another thing to note is when I do finish off the import oceans from Europa, uh, this rocky plains is going to flood. So I will only be able to build things there that can be built on uh, flooded tile. Arctic rabbits are really easy to, to put on the planet, so I'll go with those. And let's take a CO2 factory, because I need to get terraforming. So there's a tr titanium mine, and then next will be the tritium mine. And I have orbital satellites, so I'm going to go for titanium nodes. And there we go. Now I already have the, titan uh, the tritium mine. So then Decker here has a whole bunch of mines. <laughs> hey, Viper, thanks for the bits. Which means uh, I could go back to exporting or importing for the waters from uh, Europa. And then the exploration that I'm going to do is just going to be for support to offset my negative support so I don't go into deficit because that would be bad. That's the way to lose. All right, so let's celebrate past achievements. I'm just going to pick this one. That's going to help with my support max. And I'm going to throw out this exploration satellite so that I can pick up uh, import hydrogen from a gas giant in order to add to our atmosphere. That will jumpstart Atmo. And then uh, maybe a bacteria spreader as well. Get the bacteria spreader out here and start spreading more of the heat generation bacteria uh, so that I can push to the tier 2 heat quicker. So oxygen is lagging behind and I'm going to have to focus on oxygen generation because I think that will be probably the last thing I hit if I was to guess. I'm not even sure what I need now. So down to Decker. What I need is a little bit of water for the hydroponic farm, but I have zero water right now. So getting an aquifer would be really nice. Backroad runner is complete. I think I need a third city is what I really need. So let's, I could go with this crater. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's my current goal is to uh, colonize that crater. Because that's another way to get a lot of support. As you put down additional population, you increase an incredible amount of support. Um, so spreading out is a really good way to stay in the game. So I'll go with a habitation module and a courthouse. Uh, here in Decker, I can put the courthouse down... And that gives me three extra support per turn for the courthouse. This is a kind of a poorly laid out town, by the way. I just wanted to throw that out there that I designed it like crap. I get another bacteria spreader. Why not? Let's stick that one there. This is going to flood over pretty soon, but I can afford that. So even more heat. So our heat's going to hit tier 2 very quickly at this rate. And then everywhere around this crater is now explored. So next turn when I have 30 food, I'll be able... Oh, I need the water. So let's go ahead and import water 
so that I can colonize sooner. So, Mariam, explore a water node so that I get the water required. That would be here, maybe. So, import one water and export one tritium. Hey, Ghost Magic! Welcome to the stream! And howdy, Shell Bell. Okay, my cards are now full, so I'm gonna have to throw cards out pretty soon. But, uh, founding the crater. So this will trigger the giveaway, because it's yet another city. So good luck to you subs in chat. We have a nitrate deposit, a fertile soil deposit, and a natural site. So I'm going to found the city next to the natural site for the initial bonus. So now we're only minus 10. I think at one point I was like minus 57. So we've done a pretty good job of um, offsetting all the negatives that we had. And then I'm going to put a tritium... So I think my populations are going to be one and two. So I'll put this tritium back there, nesting it away from from where the population centers are going to be. And I can expand for a nitrate mine. What I really needed actually was a well because I have basically no water, and I didn't do that. But I will push the import from Europa uh, as the main priority. Oh, <clears throat> and there goes a lot of this board I had. Womp womp. My water is pretty dismal. I really needed to hit an aquifer and I haven't. Throwing out some of the cards I don't need. <clears throat> How to solve my water problem. I need to find a new colony location next to a well is what I need to do. Hey, Orpheus Telos, thanks for the sub. Follow and subbed. I appreciate it. Well, good luck in the uh, the raffle then. Ooh, Domed Park is a lot of support. And... Where can I put this Domed Park? So I could move the courthouse over here. What I think I'm going to do is going to move the cultured meat lab to the fertile soil. Uh, so that I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to get the, uh, the benefit. I'm going to put the courthouse over here. And then move the, put a domed park here and the entertainment center there. And then move the robot hub over there and the HQ here. So we have the HQ, which is getting the entertainment center. This headquarters is getting, or the Think Tank getting the uh, entertainment center. This headquarters getting both the entertainment center and the dome park. And then the miner's cottage getting the in domed park. And then we'll put a... No, the Waste Incinerator has a negative uh, adjacency. Um, I want to get the Martian Workers uh, Association to put it here. So there's a lot. This city is going to be pretty crummy for the next two turns because I've relocated a whole bunch of things, but I think I've moved things around so it's going to be better in the long run. All right, and where is a freaking well? Here we go. Is this a well? It is an aquifer. It's an aquifer that is going to get swamped. Womp, womp. That sucks. Maybe this is an aquifer that won't get swamped. And you've got about one minute left on that giveaway timer. Let's try... Where can I get water? 
Maybe this way? No. Boreal forest requiring three rainfall. I'll never hit that. Or horses requiring two and two. Fine. GMO lab or delivery drones. Um, or heat. So I definitely don't need heat because we're going to hit the heat max. Uh, photovoltaic fields might not be terrible. And then delivery drones might not be terrible. So over in this soon to be renamed city, I'm going to stick delivery drones down adjacent to the headquarters for extra support. And that allows me to spread to a canyon view for extra comfort. Is there anywhere I can put these photovoltaics? Photovoltaics want to be on a cliff. I don't think I have any free cliff space. And there's the giveaway. Moist Pineapple Pizza. What a name for a town. Um, yeah. Well, I'm out of characters. There. There you go. Moist Pineapple Pizza. Let's get a drone hub for free. And that expands this one more, and we'll go to the rich soil. Oh, she's retiring, so you guys will have a choice. We've got Arthur Foster for mining, which might be helpful because we need water badly, or um, uh, Nelia for diplomacy. So she can gain support and construct an embassy. And I'll leave that up to you. So her um, specialization is trade boost. Increase the number of trades one for every three new trade routes I set up. And then his specialty is tritium boost. He gets extra tritium. But his ability is he can mine... Um, and gains extra resources for large deposits so he can exploit water resources and ooh, puppy treats. And he also can destroy five rocks uh, instead of two. Peanuts for Yoda. All right, looks like we're going Mr. Miner here. I think I can uh, make that work quite well. So projects. Uh, train station would be great to have. And maybe luxury workshop for the support. And my cards are now full. So, moist pineapple pizza. I'm going to be putting down a habitation. Expand you towards this crater. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver all but one of the tritium to get the oceans. So I can exploit this aquifer. And then when I have everything set until, except for my oceans, I, I, um, I finish the import from Europa, uh, setting the game to win. So there we go, 10 water. That is nice. So that gives me the ability to make like an oxygen factory or something like that. What were we waiting on here? In this spot. Uh, we were waiting on the Martian Workers Association. Got it. Let's try to get that as soon as we can because I am, I am desperate for some, um, for some support. And then we also have photovoltaics to set up and an animal spreader. So I don't know if um, photovoltaics I'm going to put here because it's on an elevated tile instead of a nitrate mine because I don't really need more nitrates. And then uh, the animal spreader I'm going to put here. But I don't think that there's any animals I can spread because I don't meet the minimum requirement for any of them. But we are, uh, next turn we're gonna hit the tier 2 heat threshold. Which means I should start to switch up the bacteria that I put down, because we don't need any more heat. We'll, we'll be all set for heat. Oh no, I can put rabbits down. Ooh la la. Can I put rabbits... Where I have any cities? No, unfortunately. I can't. So, what the rabbits do, because this is the first time... 
Uh, it gives prestige if you're trying to go for prestige, but it also gives support per turn if it's in a climate zone with a, with, uh, with a city. So, unfortunately, where Decker is lacks oxygen for it. Same with Pineapple Pizza, and same with Black Road Runner. But I can put it, like, here. So now, the uh, Samaria Occidental will have rabbits, but it's not benefiting anywhere. So hopefully I get the oxygen level up a little bit more so that Decker or Moist Pineapple Pizza or Back Road Runner can get rabbits and they'll be happy for it. Bunnies. And there we go. Temperature tier two increased. And uh, a choice for you all. Do I allow for the use of a nuclear oxygen factory giving extra uh, O2 and extra atmo? But producing a little bit of radiation or refuse for the support? If we take a look at my cities here, let me show you. Um, Moist Pineapple Pizza has three radiation protections. So that's not going to be an issue for them. Decker has five. Totally not an issue for them. And then uh, Backroad Runner has three. So the nuclear generator is not really going to harm anyone. It is going to put up the O2 and Atmo, which I'm lagging behind. Those are the two that I'm probably lagging behind the most. So it is a pretty significant uh, benefit if we exploit it and then in order to build that I need um, I need the tritium so let's use the satellites to gain some tritium and then we can use Arthur here to mine tritium I don't think I have any large mines of tritium so I'm gonna hit a small one instead now we have 23 tritium which is enough to build it and it looks like you guys want it and I think that will help us uh, immensely in terraforming. So on Moist Pineapple Pizza, because I can set this up nowhere near the population centers, uh, I will put that uh, here. So now we're gaining four oxygen and three, or three oxygen and four atmo per turn. Good. Good, good, good. A card's tick. Entertainment center. And eco homes. So at Moist Pineapple Pizza, I'll put the entertainment center next to this habitation module. And then we'll have a the last pop thing here with another entertainment center or something like it there. So I need to save up for the eco homes. Uh, let's go ahead and import gas from a gas giant. road paper, I guess, is all I really need. Um, let's put the luxury workshop down. That will help give us positive support for once, because I've been in the negatives for a long, long time. So, boom. And then we also have a plant spreader that I could put down as well. So, put that there. And I can put a tundra forest down. So we're... Or, actually, it says I can put Alpine, which is even more support per turn. Oh, come on. The only zone I can put it is the zone I don't have a city. Oh, this hurts me so badly. Okay. Or over there. Alright, let's put it, uh, put it here. So, we have Alpine Forest down. So the Alpine Forest produce oxygen in an atmosphere per turn and support if there was a city here, which they are not. I'm going to have Arthur mine some water for me. Because that's going to open up my ability to make an oxygen factory or hydroponic farm or Martian Workers Association. I probably want the Martian Workers Association, so that's what I'm going to build next turn. Because that's going to help with support a lot. Hospitals are really nice. So over here in Decker, the Martian workers are going down. And look at my support. Right now it's plus six. Plus 27. Because this gives uh, three, per sort, uh, three support per unique resource produced by the city. So if we take a look at Decker, uh, producing silicates, producing tritium, producing titanium, producing nitrates, 
Uh, so the Decker was a perfect candidate for the Marsh Martian workers, and it's producing a ton of support now. Am I going to focus on getting another city in this zone? Um, I could, sure. I could put a city here in the flat plains, um, but it would be sort of... It would be squished between Moist Pineapple Pizza and Backroad Runner, so there wouldn't be a lot of expansion potential. But that, that's a possibility. Birds of Paradise or Palm Trees? Neither of them matter, because I'm not going to be able to seed either of them. Uh, delivery Drones and Combined Living Center. So I think a Combined Living Center would be really good here, and then Delivery Drones there to support the Combined Living Center. So let's expand this that way. And then save up for the Combined Living Center, which is more food than I currently have. And titanium, but we'll get titanium uh, right now. Here we go. Now I just need the food. And we'll mine for water. Because I'm not producing water, so I'm very desperate for water all the time. Uh, we also got a hospital. So instead of this, like, nice natural site, I'm going to put a hospital down, which is going to give me a lot more support. So from 27 to 32. And then we can also spread bacteria. So we don't need any more heat. So what I'm going to do is actually spread bacteria where Decker is, replacing the heat bacteria with plus titanium bacteria. Now if we take a look at Decker, uh, we are making extra titanium from the metallurgist uh, bacteria that are down here. Because I've already hit my heat threshold that I needed. And a sandstorm has screwed things up, because of course it has. So it has damaged this and that, the entertainment center and the delivery drones that I literally had just built. Um, I'm going to throw out the eco homes because I'm not going to be using it, and I'm going to save up for the combined living center, which I will get next turn. I'm uh, importing food for it, unless I happen to explore and find food. So, at Moist Pineapple Pizza, there is a fertile soil zone here, which maybe I'll put the hydroponic farms to produce three food. And then let's also grab the greenhouse farm as well, so that I have some synergy there. Putting some soil something project there. All right. Mining water. And mining water, like, two more times will give me the hydroponic farm. Cool. Yeah, there's only one place in this zone to be place a city, unless this is a viable spot. Some some zones have two. So, like, if we take a look at Simera, uh, Simeria Maj, uh, Major, I could have settled in this crater, this crater, or... Yeah. Those two craters. But you can only have one city per region. So you have to pick and choose wisely. I can spread animals. And unfortunately, none of the regions that I can spread animals are helpful. So I'll put it up in Utopia. Airborne Wind Turbine is a good project to have for when tiles get flooded because airborne wind turbines can float. So if this aqua... Oh, Jesus. A Marsquake? Could you stop hitting me? So the Marsquake broke what? My generator, my home, my nuclear... Oh, and now I don't have enough tritium to repair the nuclear. Um, so what en ends up happening there is I have minus 10 support per turn uh, until it gets repaired. And it repairs one resource per turn. So it will be 10 turns to repair on its own. So it's obviously something that I'm going to repair rushed if I can. So let's mine some tritium then. So there, I got the tritium I need. 
And I'm going to keep importing the food until I get the combined living center, because still waiting on that. We're almost there. Don't want any... Maybe the CO2 factory. I should also save up for the train station, because that's going to be really, really powerful for, for moist pineapple pizza. Let's see if I can't magically hit a food node. Sometimes the um, the zones to explore that are just happiness uh, tends to have food. Not that one, though. So I'll have food next turn, so let's go back to uh, to importing gas from the gas giant. And then mine up water. 23 water gives us enough. Oh, one shy of the hydroponic farm. Ouch. I'll import one water. There's the hydroponic farm and the combined living center. So we're up to 42 support, pretty good. The city mine. And then we have one space here and I'm just gonna put a train station. There's no synergy between that and the farms, but the train station will add six expansions here. So one, which is now a water mine. Two, Three, four, five, six. And Moist Pineapple Pizza is now a fully developed city. I want to mine some resources. Let's mine... What was it saving up for? Maybe the airborne wind turbines, so we'll go ahead and mine um, titanium. And place the airborne wind turbines here, where it's going to get flooded anyway. And then go back to supplying tritium to the gas importation. Oh, I forgot to spread my bacteria. Oops. Let's spread the titanium bacteria because we already have all the heat we need. Sometimes you would get the option to have different bacteria that is um, that would produce other things like oxygen or something like that, but we just haven't had the options to um, to get get that kind of stuff. I would say at this point it might be wise to actually f settle. Uh, a new zone, maybe up in Utopia or up in Sabea Major. Um, so I'm going to explore way out here, even though it's very power expensive. And there we go, flat plains. So I can settle there. So I need to explore the three adjacent tiles to put something in Sabea Major. Okay. We have a choice for you all. I have a new leader to import. So we have Space Tourism. So she can provide random resources for space projects or start a space hotel at cheaper cost without food, just titanium. And her specialty is Tourism. New location upgrades that provide support or comfort provide additional support per turn. Or Nationalism. So Nationalism allows to, you to research all projects suggested this turn and gives a speech of independence. So if you go independent as an imp independent uh, Mars, you gain global comfort at the cost of negative support. So it's kind of a balance. And then her specialization is when I find a new city, gain support per turn if it's the first city in the new climate zone. And it looks like we'll go with uh, Miss Space Tour. Although I didn't give you very much time to vote. So here is the gas from the giant hitting uh, level 2 atmosphere. So if I 
start imp uh, importing water from Europa, all we have left is oxygen, and in two turns, we're going to hit that. And then in three turns, we're going to hit the water threshold, so we're just about done. Or in two turns, we're going to hit the water threshold, because I just imported random tritium for the, uh, the water project. Doesn't really matter what I picked now, because I have basically won. More bacteria. And... More random materials. And we've, we've now won. I just, all I have to do is complete the project. So you guys are going to be able to decide what next scenario to undertake. Man, I have a lot of bacteria spreaders. Spread the germs everywhere. So we have uh, level 2 heat, level 2 oxygen, level 2 atmo, and as soon as I hit import, level 2 water. So here's what happens when you complete a regular scenario without the tutorial. Um, you'll be able to see what you end up unlocking. So we'll see that here. I managed to develop Martian civilization to a sustainable level, and my endeavors were met with approval by the government of Earth and the settlers on Mars alike. Thank you for tuning in to Terraformers The Blue Path, which originally streamed live on Twitch May 3rd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.